Public Law 111-2 Public Law 111-2 111th Congress. An Act. To amend Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, and to modify the operation of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 and the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, to clarify that a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice that is unlawful under such acts occurs each time compensation is paid pursuant to the discriminatory compensation decision or other practice, and for other purposes. Note, January 29, 2009, S. 181. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled. Note, Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. 42 United States Code 2000 A Note. Section 1. Short title. This act may be cited as the Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. Seconds 2. Note, 42 United States Code 2000 E5 Note. Findings. Congress finds the following, 1. The Supreme Court in Ledbetter v. Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, 550 U.S. 618, 2007, significantly impairs statutory protections against discrimination in compensation that Congress established and that have been bedrock principles of American law for decades. The Ledbetter decision undermines those statutory protections by unduly restricting the time period in which victims of discrimination can challenge and recover for discriminatory compensation decisions or other practices, contrary to the intent of Congress. 2. The limitation imposed by the court on the filing of discriminatory compensation claims ignores the reality of wage discrimination and is at odds with the robust application of the civil rights laws that Congress intended. 3. With regard to any charge of discrimination under any law, nothing in this act is intended to preclude or limit an aggrieved person's right to introduce evidence of an unlawful employment practice that has occurred outside the time for filing a charge of discrimination. 4. Nothing in this act is intended to change current law treatment of when pension distributions are considered paid. Seconds 3. Discrimination in compensation, because of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Section 706 E of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 42.S.C. 2000 E5 E is amended by adding at the end the following: 3. A. For purposes of this section, an unlawful employment practice occurs with respect to discrimination in compensation in violation of this title when a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice is adopted when an individual becomes subject to a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice or Page 123 Stat 6. When an individual is affected by application of a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice, including each time wages, benefits, or other compensation is paid, resulting in whole or in part from such a decision or other practice. B. In addition to any relief authorized by Section 1977A of the Revised Statutes, 42U.S.C. 1981A, liability may accrue and an aggrieved person may obtain relief as provided in subsection G1, including recovery of back pay for up to two years preceding the filing of the charge, where the unlawful employment practices that have occurred during the charge filing period are similar or related to unlawful employment. Practices with regard to discrimination in compensation that occurred outside the time for filing a charge. Seconds for discrimination in compensation because of age. Section 7, D, of the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, 29 U.S.C. 626, D, is amended, 1, in the first sentence, A, by redesignating paragraphs, 1, and, 2, as subparagraphs, A, and, B, respectively, and, B, by striking, D, and inserting, D, 1, 2, in the third sentence, by striking upon and inserting the following, 2, upon, and, 3, by adding at the end the following. 3, for purposes of this section, an unlawful practice occurs, with respect to discrimination in compensation in violation of this act, when a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice is adopted, when a person becomes subject to a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice, or, when a person is affected by application of a discriminatory compensation decision or other practice, including each time wages, benefits, or other compensation is paid, resulting in whole or in part from such a decision or other practice. Seconds 5. Application to other laws. A. Note, 
42 United States Code 2000 E5 Note. Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, the amendments made by Section 3 shall apply to claims of discrimination in compensation brought under Title I and Section 503 of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, 42 U.S.C. 12111 and the following, 12203, pursuant to Section 107, of, of such Act, 42 U.S.C. 12117, uh, which adopts the powers, remedies, and procedures set forth in Section 706 of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E5. B. Note, 42 United States Code 2000 E5 Note. Rehabilitation Act of 1973, the amendments made by Section 3 shall apply to claims of discrimination in compensation brought under Sections 501 and 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, 29 U.S.C. 791, 794, pursuant to, 1, Sections 501, G, and 504, D, of such Act, 29 U.S.C. 791, G, 794, D, respectively, which adopt the standards applied under Title I of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 for determining whether a violation has occurred in a complaint alleging employment discrimination, and, two, paragraphs, one, and, two, of Section 505, of, of such Act, 29 U.S.C. Point 794 A, of, as amended by subsection, C, C, Conforming Amendments, 1, Rehabilitation Act of 1973, Section 505, uh, of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, 29 U.S.C. 794A, uh, is amended. Page 123 Stat 7. A, in paragraph, 1, I inserting after, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E5, F, through, K, the following, and the application of section 706, E, 3, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E, 5, E, 3, to claims of discrimination in compensation, and, B, in paragraph, 2, I inserting after 1964 the following, 42 U.S.C. 2000 D at the following, and in subsection, E, 3, of section 706 of such act, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E5, applied to claims of discrimination in compensation. 2. Civil Rights Act of 1964, Section 717 of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E16, is amended by adding at the end the following. F. Section 706, E3, shall apply to complaints of discrimination in compensation under this section. 3. Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, Section 15, F, of the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, 29 U.S.C. 633A, F, is amended by striking of section and inserting of sections 7, D, 3, and, second 6. Note, 42 United States Code 2000 E5 Note. Effective Date. This Act, and the amendments made by this Act, take effect, as if enacted on May 28, 2007 and apply to all claims of discrimination in compensation under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, 42 U.S.C. 2000 E at the following, the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967, 29 U.S.C. 621 at the following, Title I and Section 503 of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, and Sections 501 and 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, that are pending on or after that date. Approved January 29, 2009.